Well, hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to this new moon in Leo energy reading for you. All right, let's see where we go. This new moon in, in Leo, uh, new moons are always about manifestation. So it's, it's time, I wanted to post this a few days early. The new moon in Leo is happening on the 8th and ninth um so right at that same lion's gate portal it's really going to amplify the energy of lion's gate which is about um this portal to elevated spiritual connection opening to your gifts powerful abundance generator and um uh it's sort of i feel like it's it's octane Okay, I feel like it's like throwing gasoline on a fire. Okay, um, so this is a really good time for you to manifest something in your life that you really want to take far. Okay, there's a, some there's something here about um, jet propulsion or some kind of um, gasoline and not gasoline you know that's like old fossil fuel kind of uh, discovery this is this is more about new earth um, expansion okay and this is about 5d expansion this is about being in your power and using the energetic world being more in the energetic world propelling your mission and vision forward in that vein, I am going to be doing another North Node session. This is going to be, I want to um, give you a chance to work with this information because a lot of you have taken my North Node class and I, I noticed that a few of you are like, okay, I really get the concept, but I want to work with this now. I want to work with understanding my mission and purpose. If you want to understand that, um, there is a class on, se on September on um, next week, August 11th, the North Node working with your North Node. So that may or may not be set up yet, but I want to let you know I'll be talking about it uh, more in the next few days. If you really want to work with your mission and purpose, and that is happening right after uh, Lionsgate. So it may be a great time to set the intention and um, continue to work with this energy it's not just about setting the intention and then and then um it is a, it is a little bit about set it and forget it but it's less about like oh i want it to happen oh i want it to happen it's more like okay here's my intention now let's go okay that's what this energy is like so let me do a little reading here for you most definitely about abundance um lionsgate and the and the leo new moon happening on the same day it doesn't always happen like that first of all, uh, but it is about the rising of Sirius, okay, and that is the star, that is the spiritual sun. So this time is super powerful. That's why I did individual readings for each zodiac sign for the uh, Lionsgate portal. They're on the channel. Check them out, okay? So underneath is Solitude, Distant Thunder, Valiant Courage. That's Leo. That's a Leo card, okay? So I feel like uh, some of you could be in a connection that has been, you've been separated for a while. You haven't been talking to this person. But I feel like there's a moment, in, it's almost like thunderclap, okay? That this, <laughs> sorry about that for those of you wearing headphones. This is a time when the energy of being alone is over. So some of you could have a new relationship coming in. Some of you could have a relationship starting up at the time. Uh, it's possible that it could be with a person that you've been kind of waiting for or something along those lines. And it is going to take some courage, especially for those of you. And I know um, a, some of you have been single for a really long time. It may take some courage, you know, when you're really faced with a new relationship and you're like, oh, like I really want a new relationship, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of used to being on my own or I'm used to my life as it is, even though I really want to step into this. Because I think a lot of you have really become very autonomous, very independent, very powerful, standing in your own light. Let's see. 
What's the messages that want to come through for everybody watching, please, whether this is on the day or before or after. Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles, High Priestess, Chariot. Look what's right in the middle. Leo. Strength. And this is also courage. Strength and courage. This is a timing card. So we're right on. Okay, we're right on schedule here for the Leo full moon, uh, August 8th and 9th, Lionsgate, August 8th, 8-8, eight, eight, the Lemonsgate, and we have the Lemonsgate again here with the Two of Pentacles. The Lemonsgate is the symbol of infinity. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk more about that. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, my, 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 King of Wands. So some of you could actually be dealing with a Leo. I see Leo, Cancer, Leo and Cancer here. Um, I do see the fire signs in this King of Wands. And I do see the earth signs in this Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of offering going on. Okay, so I'll walk through, see how like the, this is the Knight of Cups riding up behind the um, goddess and the strength card, the Leo goddess. And then there's this two of cups with the Ace of Pentacles making a physical offering to the King of Wands, right? You can see that visually, an actual pentacle offer. So pentacles are 3D, about creating a relationship coming together in the 3D. So if this is a twin flame connection, there's going to be some physical connection here. And there's something here about it taking courage. It, ta it takes some courage. It takes some um, strength to move toward this person. So I feel like this is what's been manifested is you could have been manifesting this for a while. All right. For quite a long time. High Priestess, this is the connection to your higher self. This is your connection to your guides. Um, I feel like you know this is coming. All right. You've been doing this in solitude, right? You've been manifesting. And I feel like this is going to be sudden as a thunderclap. And then it's going to push you. Uh, this relationship pushes you. So there's something about it. Um, you needing to be very aware of your own self-care needs, aware of your physical needs, three of pentacles, I mean, sorry, um, queen of pentacles, uh, very uh, uh, nurturing and kind to self. I do feel like this can go pretty fast. The chariot is here. This person is also likely at a distance. Like I said, Cancerian energy here and Leo person could be a fire sign or have some earth energy to them. There's definitely something about, about making this a physical connection, the ace of pentacles and the king of wands. This is a physical union, physical connection. And you may be connected. Well, you are definitely through some kind of telepathy. We talked about that, or we're talking about that tomorrow on the live for the pathfinder group about, paying attention to dreams. This person is showing up, uh, how to connect with them telepathically, how to work with that energy. And um, this feels like this is showing up. So you've manifested this. This is the card, three of wands, the card of expectations. Just expect it. Just expect them to show up because they're showing up. All right. This person's at a distance. Eight of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, Temperance, Four of Pentacles. This person's holding back. They could have hurt you in the past or they could have been badly hurt themselves. Could be some Sag energy here too. All right. I see Sag, Cancer, Leo. Um, I'll look with those in the extended. I'll, I'll go down that road. Um I feel like this person is on the is on the spiritual path now. They may not have been when you were connected. Um, they're on the spiritual path, but now they're really um, 
doing some healing work, you guys are connected uh, telepathically. And this is like stuff in the middle of the night that happens like dreams and telepathic communication happening in the middle of the night. Okay. Uh, there's something about the three of swords here. I see the three of wands. There could have been some kind of um, third party connection, but the universe is bringing you back together. Four of pentacles. I feel like they're holding back because either they've been very hurt or they're, they've hurt you or something like that. Uh, if they, if you don't know who this person is, I feel like this person is very hurt. Okay. So clarify the Knight of Swords for me. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, whoop, Devil Energy, Nine of Pentacles. Um, you and or this person has really dealt with some tough karmics some very difficult karmic connections, manipulators. Um, I feel like you guys might have left each other out in the cold because of karmics. And now <clears throat> that's behind you. Okay. That literally like you see like the, the Knight of cups showing up here. It's behind her. Um, like standing in my new power once uh, it's all behind me. There's something that's all behind me. When you're always in your 3D um, senses, right? Feel, touch, taste, sense, smell. When you're in those senses, you can't see behind you, okay? But when you're in your 5D, when you're in your metaphysical, you're in your spiritual place, you see 360 degrees because it's not about a physicality, right? It's about an energy. So when people come up behind you, you feel it, right? Different kind of feeling than the 3D feel. 3D feel is like, can I touch it, right? What we're talking about here is the feels. Like you, you feel someone approaching you. You know when someone's standing behind you. You know when someone's like looking at the back of your head. You know when, right? You know it. And I feel like the karmic lessons from the past of manipulation, maybe you dealt with a, a narcissist, maybe you... Um, Everything fell apart financially because of the focus, so much focus on the 3D, okay? Uh, I do feel like there's anger about the past in some way here. All right, there's definitely anger from the past. Um, this distant thunder can be something about, it can be about clearing the air. That's what the card is called after all. So now... Please clarify the clear the air. Three of cups. Sun, more Leo. Two of wands. I got two here. I got queen of wands and king of pentacles. So I'm getting the, the opposite here. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? And two wanted to jump out here, so I'm taking them together. King of pentacles, queen of wands. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you were with the wrong person or they were with the wrong person or you felt like you felt like because of your connection, they were with the wrong, you were with the wrong, okay? So I feel like that third party energy was very much of like, we know spiritually that we were with the uh, a partner that was not the partner we were meant for. There was lots of lessons to be learned. There was lots of things I had to go through. And okay, doing that, and now I'm healing from that connection, which seems to me to be very bad, all right? This person may have had a very difficult connection. They still, you know, they're working on healing their heart. Um, they're, they're still holding back because of that. If you guys know, if you know who this is, uh, and this person, somebody coming back around, I don't see any, I don't see Six of Cups, and I don't see Judgment, but... This feels to me like there's been some history here, whether it's individually or together. You may have been conne in connection spiritually and not know this person. When you meet this person, you'll be like, oh, yeah, you were in my dream. Yep. So there's something here about third party. And that can be that there was something keeping this connection from coming together. The frequency was not right. It could have been one of you had, one of you was in commitment, but it wasn't like a cheating scenario. It just meant that there was something standing in the way. So 
Uh, it could be someone had an addiction, someone had a problem with money or gambling, someone had uh, a, workaholis, a workaholism kind of habit, some kind of thing. I think it's interesting that the Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles show up together and Queen of Pentacles and King of Wands. It's like changing partners, right? You're changing from the person you thought was the right person to the person that is the right person. For some of you, this can be a twin flame kind of flipperoo, like, oh, I thought this was my twin flame. Actually, this is my twin flame. So there can be a little bit about that. But the definitive thing for me is that there was a lot of hurt and a lot of broken hearts, third parties in the past. This new moon in Leo, lots of Leo here, the sun, the sun and the strength card, is about standing in your light of what brings me joy. I'm cleansing, right? Like they say that sunshine is a great disinfectant. All right, so this is like, I'm moving towards something that is on my path, that is bringing me joy, that is spiritually connected to me and all these kind of things. <clears throat> and for something physical and spiritual and passionate all at the same time. Physical and spiritual and passionate and stable and loving and nurturing all of these things okay all of these things so i feel like what's happening here is in the new moon you get a chance to shift your intention around relationships so if you've been if you've been trying to manifest a person by name i'm going to say to you why don't you manifest your twin. Why don't you ask the universe for my soulmate, my twin flame, the person that is going to bring in the most joy in my life that I'm going to bring joy to as well, right? Like focus around joy because I feel like some of the relationships that I'm seeing from the past brought nothing but heartache. So instead of doing that, because Leo is fun and joyful and sexy and awesome, instead of bringing in more pain, bring in more pleasure see what you get okay so I'm gonna continue on with this reading I'm definitely gonna look at Leo I'll definitely look at Leo and cancer and Sag um, Leo and cancer and Sag I see Capricorn here right Capricorn uh, cancer Leo Sag all right I'll look at those uh, if you're dealing with anybody of those signs, then um, continue on with me. If this reading has resonated for you, there's a link below. See you over.